So here we are with the skid, all the printed parts and um, our screws, bearings, and shocks. So let's go ahead and start assembling. First thing we're going to need to do is get the halves of our um, sled piece here glued together. And so let's uh, go ahead and do that real quick and I just like to use some cheap super glue. It's been uh, working out pretty well for me thus far. I haven't had anything come apart on me and uh, I abuse it pretty good in all my testing so I just get a good good coating of glue all across that seam make sure they line up well I like to use some clamps so that I can kind of clamp it in place not forgive that I can't uh, get a perfect view of that while I get it clamped here but so I just get it kind of clamped in position like so and then I'm going to set that aside so that it can be drying and we can accomplish a little more while that stuff is drying. So we'll do the same to the other side here. Just make sure that your seam lines up, make sure that it's nice and straight and that'll work. We can just let those set over here for a bit. Remember to put the lid back on your glue. That should be the only time we will need it. All right, so then we can continue. Now these uh, these bearings, we're going to use four of these bearings on the skid part here. And they are, hopefully you can read that, but they're the 6700... ZZ, they're 10, 15 by 4 millimeter bearings. Okay, so let's start with uh, putting a few things together. We can start with our uh, little shock here. It doesn't really matter where we where exactly we start, so let's go with that. It's going to mount up to this. Got a screw here. I just measure them to stick through like that. So I'm just find yourself one in your pack that reaches there. Grab my Allen wrench here. So we're going to go ahead and run that down. You don't need to squeeze it, just get it to where it's tight right there. Okay, and now that is going to mount to this piece here. And go ahead and run a screw into that and again you want to check your length now on this piece I hope you can see that in the camera but there's a flat spot there's a flat spot right here on each side of that that flat spot goes up because it it mounts into the skid here there's a there's a recessed section that that keys into to keep this piece from rotating with the pressures of the shock that's on it. All right, so we just want to keep that in mind when we put things together. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these screws here and just get it started here. Through again. There's no real forces acting on these to unscrew it and so it should hold itself there pretty well. All right, we can also start a screw into the other side of this short piece here. Okay, and I'm going to get that just where that screw is flush because we're going to now put this larger um, shock onto it. There we are. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now, from that, 
we can go ahead and take this guy here. So that this shock is going to mount into that there. Go ahead and find the screw that's going to fit that and get it started. Sorry about that, the battery died. And so where we were is so far we've got this part all put together and I just finished tightening this screw in there. Again, you don't need it to squeeze anything. Okay, so moving on, we can go ahead and put these together. There's a little up to that and then you can see the um, rotation stop piece that goes there. Hopefully that's um, coming through clear. We're going to take a screw again, checking our length, and that's going to hold those together. There we are. Make sure you've got good free movement there. You don't want that to be squoze together tightly. Alright, now this piece can also mount to this here. We'll do that with these shorter screws. Again, just check check your length on those. Okay, so we're just going to screw these two screws in here. They don't need to be um, too tight. That section needs to be able to pivot. Alright, so now that's assembled. Now we'll move on to these rear wheels. We'll take a bearing, and they're designed for that bearing to fit in there. Just kind of snug there. We'll do that on both of them. Now, depending on how your printer prints it might be a little too loose or a little tight and you might have to adjust a little bit for that everyone's printer is a little different but hopefully I've got it to where it fits quite well for you then we'll take this um, rear axle here I guess you could call it and these go on that and the bearing side will go in first so as you see you don't see the bearing on this side but you can see it on that side so it'll go on first and you'll slide until it hits that ridge and that holds it in position where it should be We'll do that for this other side as well. Okay, and that's that rear roller ready. All right, so now we can come back here to the slides here, and they should be ready. They've got a good time to cure on that glue. So, before we start assembling everything, I've got some long screws here and I've just kind of measured how they fit. Hopefully I'm not too in the way on the camera there. These are your adjustments. Um, they, they're to adjust the track um, tension and also how the track kind of tracks on the skid to make sure that it's not sliding from one side or the other. You can adjust these. So it's easiest to run those in real quick a little ways right now. There we go. All right. So now we can go ahead and start assembling um, these parts together. Oh, and you know what? Before we forget, we've still got these two bearings here, and they go on this piece here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And it's just a matter of getting them to slide on there. They should be kind of snug. They don't need to go, you know, just about there. Alright, and they're, they're just to help guide the track as it goes up over this section. So there we go. Just get those slid on that. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and we can start assembling these parts. So let's take uh, this guy here and now there's, that's kind of keyed in, so make sure that you get that that keyed position correct. And then we'll take a screw, and I've just kind of taken that and measured how far in that's going to go. And I think that'll work right there. And so once we get that screw in, we can take another screw and run it in um, right here. All right, just like that. And then we'll bring this up. There should be a hole here ready for that. And I will run a screw 
All right, so now we're going to take our back axle here and we're going to attach it back here. So just screw through that slot and then into that axle. Okay, so then uh, it's just a matter of repeating those attachments that we did on this side, on the other side there, and we now have our completed skid. So I just realized that on this skid I put one of these pieces on backwards, so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. And it's this piece right here, it's upside down. We just need to flip that over. Just like that. And we're just going to flip it over like so. There we go. Okay. That's correct. Excuse that uh, mistake there. All right. So now that's ready.